That, right there, is uncontrollable. That is the sound of air coming out into this bag. It's just air, but that is literally farting through a hole in the side of my body, and I can't help it. Sometimes that happens when I'm in the studio. Well, let's speak to our security correspondent, Frank Gardner. I'm Frank Gardner. I was the BBC's first ever security correspondent. Frank Gardner, BBC News in Saudi Arabia. I see my life in two halves. The Frank that traveled the world unhindered, and the Frank that came after. The BBC has confirmed tonight that a BBC team has come under fire from gunmen in a suburb of the Saudi capital, Riyadh. I was shot six times by Al-Qaeda, leaving me partially paralyzed at the age of 43. 16 years after I was attacked, my job as security correspondent for the BBC is as important to me as it ever was. So this is my, my man on the inside of the embassy. I report on terrorism, intelligence, espionage. But sometimes it's the small things that get in the way. Are you okay with being disabled? It's pointless not being okay with it because there's nothing I can do about it. So frankly, it makes bugger all difference whether I'm okay with it or not because it is what it is. It's not easy looking back at pictures of myself as a young man, fresh out of university and traveling around the Middle East without a care in the world. America has now deployed some of its most sophisticated firepower here in the Gulf. I, I just don't think I ever felt in danger. And even to go to Iraq under Saddam Hussein, for us as journalists, it was a very safe place. It was thrilling. That is the magnetic pull of news journalism. It is so exciting. It is a drug. When Al-Qaeda attacked America on 9-11, the Middle East became a much more dangerous place. We're here on the Afghan-Pakistani border. It got so busy, hoovering up post-9-11 stories. Where is bin Laden? Who are Al-Qaeda? In June 2004, Al-Qaeda attacked Western targets in Saudi Arabia. I went there to report from the capital, Riyadh, where my cameraman and I were ambushed. This car turned up, guy got out, smiling, um, and then he pulled out a weapon, pulled out a pistol, and uh, started firing, at which stage I ran. And I didn't even know at that stage whether my cameraman was alive or dead. Um, we were running for our lives. And um, one bullet went through my shoulder, but then the next one hit me in the leg and broke my femur, so I was then down, um, couldn't run any further, and they then overtook me in a vehicle, a van with a sliding door. They didn't stop there. They then decided to put the rest of the rounds into me and fired several more bullets, um, four of which hit me. Um, you know, but I was conscious for the whole thing. Obviously, I wish we hadn't gone on that trip. Um, and I wish that my cameraman, Simon Cumbers, had survived more than anything. Six bullets caused 11 bullet holes. And for 48 hours, my life was in the balance. After three weeks, I was medevaced back to the UK and brought to the Royal London Hospital. So I was uh, four months in this hospital. I was still in a very perilous state here. My recollections of it was tremendous sadness, feeling of loss, um, with the pervading sense of, this is your new life now. Forget about the old life, it's over. It's a life sentence. That was the sense that I had at the time. All these years, I have mourned the loss of the old me. I fought desperately against the limitations of my wheelchair and refused to be defined by my disability. Socotra's culture and its ecology are unique. They've developed in near isolation from mainland Yemen over the centuries. But I've realized that it's also possible to accept the new me. Isn't that just fantastic? I just love that. You know, morning in the Alps. There's so much of my previous life that I've been able to salvage, as it were, and carry on with. 
you know, living, these things have continued. It's almost like this little sort of invisible bridge that I've crossed over to the other side and carried on. When you face a life-changing injury, the mental recovery is often far harder than the physical one and can sometimes take years. But you know, when all is said and done, I'm really very happy just being frank.